Welcome to Drawfee, where we take dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Nathan. I'm Jacob. I'm Julia. I'm Mike Trapp. Guys, Mike Trapp is here uh, from College Humor Originals and uh, the host of Um Actually on Dropout. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm so excited to be here. Yeah. Um, we uh, are in the business of getting things wrong a lot here on Drawfee. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And uh, yeah. uh, Um Actually is all about correcting things that are wrong. So it seems like a, a perfect fit. Fix us, Mike. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's actually, I mean, we actually even uh, play a game on Um Actually sometimes that is uh, that is a drawing based game. Uh, where we where we give people the name of a monster and 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 have them draw it to the best of their their memory and their ability. We're not going by how good the drawing is, but uh, <laughs> you know, it's higher standards here. <laughs> right. I saw that on the episode that Caldwell was on. Caldwell drew a very small manticore and a very big drawing of you mispronouncing uh, Saiyan. Yes. The... Uh, most of the focus of that drawing was me, <laughs> and then the manticore was sort of an afterthought. But you haven't mispronounced Saiyan on any subsequent episodes, so that's oh, God, uh... yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, they'd eat me alive if I if I had. But you know what? You learn you you learn from your mistakes. You make a mistake. You move along. So uh, so we're gonna be playing a version of that here on Drawfee. So you're gonna give us each a folklore monster name that we probably don't know, and we're gonna just try our best to draw it. We're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. I'm ready to draw. What's my monster? Why don't I give you Baku? 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 Yeah. Uh, can you spell that for me? B A K U. Baku. Okay. Can you use it in a sentence? <laughs> <laughs> the Baku is a difficult monster to draw. <laughs> uh, it's, it seems like you don't you you don't have your footing here, really, right? I guess I'm just gonna sort of try and draw the face of someone saying Baku, <laughs> and then uh, yeah, if you want to give me, if you want to drip feed me some some information. Sure. Where is the Baku from? Yeah. What's the country of origin? Yeah, the country. Country of origin is Japan, although the, uh, a similar creature also uh, exists in China under a different name. Okay. But basically the same monster, two different names. Baku is the Japanese version of this monster. Gosh, this is like a this is looking like a almost like a mole mouth kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, a screaming rat. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I heard ba, and I know that sheep make make ba sounds. So oh, I'm giving I see. it sort of these, job, sh- these sheepy eyes. And you're you're operating under Pokemon rules where all <laughs> monsters say their own name at all times. All monsters say their own name at all time. That's how monsters work. Yes. Um, <laughs> I see. So every- <laughs> from, from what I know about like Japanese monsters and folklore, it's always like a punishment for something or sometimes they just latch onto your back. What's this dude's deal? Yeah, what's, what's his goal? What's this deal? The thing with the Baku is it's a dream eater. Uh, it um, So sometimes that's good and sometimes that's bad. Uh, if you're having a nightmare, you can call on the Baku to eat your nightmare so you don't have a nightmare anymore. But if you call on the Baku too many times, uh, then you know it can eat your hopes and desires and dreams. Uh, so it's, it's a double-edged sword, the Baku. I love that he's kind of just like, all right, listen, kid. You obviously you're dealing with some stuff. I can't yeah. be here for you all the time. I'm not your therapist. <laughs> I'm not okay? your therapist. Go like talk to someone professional. They're out there to help you if you need it. I know I'm a quick fix, but you can't just live your life that way. Uh, and I'm hungry. I'm extremely hungry. Uh, I've got things to eat. You're, you know, you're you're only serving me your scraps. Your your scariest, shittiest meals. And I I want delicious, sweet dreams of the future. I am just going to point out, you gave me shit for going the Pokemon route. Dream, re- Dream Eater is a move in Pokemon. It so. is. <laughs> I suppose that's true. Maybe I'll, I'll drip feed you this little bit, which is a fun tidbit I was going to talk about later. But in point of fact, the Baku did actually inspire a Pokemon. Uh, but I won't tell you which one, because uh, that feels like it would reveal too much. Oh, man. I wonder which one it is. Drowsy. Yeah, is it... I was going to say, is it Drowsy? That's the only one that I can think of off the top of yeah drowsy my head. it's got to be drowsy it's, right it might be drowsy um but i've already i've already started you've already this, committed <laughs> with this wonderful face yeah. so this horrid mole this horrid mole <laughs> that work in his belly it's got a big belly yeah, because he's eating so many dreams. He's eating so many oh. dreams, so he's got a real bloated... I didn't think the body was going to be that big. <laughs> I'll also say the, the Baku is a chimerical monster, so it is, a, it is a monster that is sort of like a combination of different animal parts. Oh, so you got to get some other stuff in there. Let's get some... Maybe like throw in a cat, because cats are little yeah. assholes in the night. Yeah, some, <laughs> some, cat, some cat ears on this guy, sure, this why not? This is just this man's awful cat. 
<laughs> he comes in his room and screams all night long. God, stop it, Baku, come on. <laughs> I love the juxtaposition of the, these two expressions here of how <laughs> how peacefully that man is sleeping and how the, your monster looks like it is. I'm frankly, it looks like it's vomiting out fire onto his head instead of sucking. <laughs> no, it's dreams. going. It's going in. Let me add. Let me add an arrow. Oh, okay. To indicate, oh, now it's clear. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is a medical diagram it's, of it's, what happens. It when does the Baku look like comes. a cat spitting up a furball, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's doing a suck. <laughs> <laughs> That's good audio, right? If I just make vomiting noises yeah. for your listeners. People love that. Yeah. Hello, and welcome back to Seven Hours of Chewing Noises with Mike Trap. <laughs> Our fans always say, A, get Trap on the show, and B, have him just make vomiting noises the whole time. Hey, I, we're just giving the people what they want. Uh, he's like a lumpy potato. Yeah, he's very lumpy. I've drawn a very lumpy monster. I'm just going to give it person hands, and it's just sort of like rubbing its tummy, like, mmm, <laughs> mm, I love these dreams. I'd love to have it uh, maybe given like a like a, an okay, like, like you know, it's something you might see in like a Chef Boyardee kind of can. Oh, okay. Like, mmm, them's just, good yeah, like, dreams. Like good thumbs up. <laughs> giving a yeah. thumbs up over here. I would love to be this person's like roommate or significant other and like walk to this room and this horrible rat cat with human <laughs> hands is just like giving me a thumbs up while maybe barfing on this human that I it's know. Like, nope, and you're everything's like, okay here. Don't worry about uh, it. You just slowly close the door and leave. <laughs> Ooh, uh, I'm so sorry. Ooh, whoops. Uh, hey, how were your dreams last night? <laughs> You know, Anything I don't often weird? remember my dreams. I don't know why. <laughs> and then the Baku like peeks in the window and like gives you like an okay symbol. <laughs> Keep my secret, he winks at you. And a short little three second jingle comes on. <laughs> yeah. Like a little twinkle. Baku's coming to eat your dreams. Yum, yum, yum. Eat those dreams. <laughs> At what point should I correct anything that you have wrong here? Should we just wait till the end, uh, or are you are you trying to to eventually like work your way towards an accurate drawing? If you could give me just like you said, Chimera. So if you could give me just one of the animals, and I'll I'll see if I can add just a little bit. I'll tell you the most notable feature, which is that it is part elephant. Okay. Where? Wow. <laughs> you gonna trunk him? I'm gonna trunk him. You're gonna trunk him, aren't you? I'm gonna you? trunk him. So he has a trunk. Okay. Oh, oh. God. <laughs> You've drawn a drowsy with human hands. Yep, that's what it's ended up being, huh? But those eyes are so low. <laughs> yeah. He's like an anteater. Yeah, oh. this slimy snuffle up against motherfucker coming <laughs> in your room. Maybe tusk. Maybe one tusk? Oh, yeah, give him a tusk. Yeah, that feels fun. There we go. I can't in good conscience continue. <laughs> Except some gross little hairs. Yeah, just some just some hairs. Yeah. I'm going to look up a Baku. I'll say you're actually not that far off. Oh! oh. Wow. The description I have is that it, it, you know, it has like an elephant's trunk. And then it got very specific with some of these rhinoceros eyes, which I don't know if I could even des- describe <laughs> what a rhino's eyes look like. An ox's tail and tiger's paws. Oh, tiger's paws, yeah. But here's the fun thing about the Baku and the, the reason I kind of want to like bring it up because I do think it has like a bit of a fun story behind it. So it is like this this dream eater thing, but it also the the word uh, in Japanese uh, this for this monster it's also the same word as a taper because the description of a Baku is actually remarkably similar to what a taper looks like. So when tapers were discovered, it was like, oh, this is you know that monster we've been talking about for ages <laughs> that eats our dreams. Turns out it's alive and in South America. Uh, <laughs> That's amazing. And yeah, Drowsy is the uh, uh, Drowsy was inspired by the Baku. Well, I learned, I did a learn, guys. Did a learn. And uh, We I, don't usually, but we are today. I, I <laughs> never want to look at this thing I've drawn ever again. So, <laughs> Get uh, it out of here. Let, Jacob, me, let me in. Jacob, do you want to draw a monster? Yes, please. Okay. All right, Trap, I'm in the hot seat. I'm ready. I'm going to give you the monster that is Vodinoy. Vodinoy? I think Vodinoy is the closest pronunciation. It could be Vodinoy, uh, spelled something like V-O-D-Y-A-N-O-I. Is this a, a Russian or or maybe Polish? Yeah, you're on. It's a Slavic monster. It appears in Russian uh, and I think also Czech, maybe also Polish. Not an inspiration for a Pokemon. Not this one, not an inspiration. Well, actually, you know what? I don't know the yeah. depth of my Pokemon well enough uh, to, to say that for sure. We're giving the audience plenty of opportunities to um actually at us. That's true. I, like, I, It would be unfair for me to come on and not let people angrily correct me for, for <laughs> mistakes that I've made. Well, what's going on with this mouth? What's happening here? I don't know, man. I just followed my heart. I like these like Simpsons teeth. 
This looks like Homer Simpson, like, rearing back to scream. Yeah, in, like, the <laughs> early stages of The Simpsons. Yeah. So the only thing that I know about Russian folklore, which is not a lot, is that a lot of their monsters are, like, grandmas <laughs> or snow creatures. Oh, grandmas or snow creatures. Okay. Truly, aging is the greatest monster of all. <laughs> <laughs> Comes for all of us. And... Aging and Russian winters. Yeah. Yes. yeah. <laughs> Both horrible. Both horrible. Okay, let me get, like, a, maybe, like, a big grandma nose in here. I want that to also be kind of like this. Yeah. yeah. I'm going for like a real Rocco's modern life feel. Uh, yeah. Right I, I love this aesthetic. Oh, love that nose. <laughs> I will say uh, that that Julia, the old agedness is not uh, like most prominent feature of the creature, but it is often described as being like an old man or having like old old manish qualities. So you're 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 on the right track. I'll also say that it's like um, a water based monster. Oh, Ooh. good. So oh, good. I can put the eyes on the side of his head. <laughs> <laughs> this is the, those old men who come to the swimming pool. Yeah, and to just, do little air, uh, water aerobics. They do water aerobics. These are the monsters that appear in the locker room and take their pants off first yep. before they take their shirts off. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, oh, look Jacob. at that eye. <laughs> yeah, let's just get one on either side. <laughs> He's got egg yolk eyes. Just a bunch of, of large mouth, bad eyed creatures we've got going on. What a group. What is that? Is that a baguette? What's going on? It's a little fin. It's like a fish fin. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I love the expression on this guy's face because it, it's sort of like a scream, but it feels more like uh, a guy who's telling you a story a little bit too loud. Uh, <laughs> like, oh, yeah. hey, yeah, I was walking down the street the other day. <laughs> yeah, you're just like over here like, oh, <laughs> dude. He also looks like the kind of dude where no matter what, like noise it is, whether it's like a yawn or <laughs> like a satisfied noise, it's always hey! <laughs> One sound for every emotion. Like, what was that? He's like, that's my sneeze. <laughs> I'm um, in terrible what? pain. <laughs> <laughs> I've been in the water for so long. Russia's very cold. <laughs> I forgot my towel. Can I get like some sort of more bodily descriptions here? Because I'm just giving him a fish body right now, and I don't know if I should stop. Sure, I'll. I will say that he has. Um, uh, he has like hands and limbs. Still aquatic. So no torso, just hands and limbs. <laughs> Yeah, I got that yeah. going. Very good. He's got a sort of like sluggy seahorse kind of body right now. <laughs> These little Hey! I Hi. dropped my cell phone! <laughs> my arms are too small! I'm using a hands-free device <laughs> because my hands don't go up that high. Please go get my phone! Obviously, you gotta finish this body, but I'll say that the Vaginoi is often described as having a beard or sometimes long hair. Oh. That's Jacob, you know what you've drawn? You've drawn like the worst, like twenty-five cent animatronic ride of Superman. <laughs> <laughs> Up on his back. Yeah. yeah. There's like a pony and a and like a rocket ship, and then this thing. Yeah. And he doesn't <laughs> rock or move whatsoever. He just goes. Ah! You sit on his back and it just makes noise. <laughs> no one ever wants to ride it. It's it's always the one. It's like I want to ride the little bear. It's like you sure you don't want to ride this this hairy, gross sea monkey monster. Uh, <laughs> He screams when you sit on him. <laughs> Not to give away more physicality, but like, what's the Vodnoy like into? Like, besides being aquatic, <laughs> what's, what's he into? What yeah, sort what, of what's his deal? What sort of stories does the Vodnoy show up in? Here's the thing that I think is true of a lot of sea monsters. Man, they love nothing more than dragging people into the water. Oh yeah, they live for that shit. Don't, don't get me started. <laughs> dragging people into the water. If they can trick someone into grabbing a hand around their ankle and. Pulling them in into the into the water, either to drown them or, uh, in the case of the Vodinois, sometimes they will uh, bring them into their their sort of like underwater uh, lair and keep you as their slave, oh. Oh, just to keep telling you stories all day. <laughs> you can't get away. Hey, so you're not leaving yet, are you? Oh gosh, I, we're just having such a good time. Oh, you got somewhere to be? <laughs> got big plans today? So listen, uh, I was I, I was so sick the other day. Let me tell you. <laughs> detail about all my ailments. <laughs> I had the weirdest dream last night. It's a long one, so buckle up. <laughs> oh, man. The Vodnoy is absolutely like sharing Minions memes on Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> there is something deeply upsetting about these 
like human appendages just sort of like soldered on you know it's not like yeah. a gentle gradient where it's like ah now the it's like a fish body but but the hum, human limbs slowly emerge this is just like like a foot sticking out of sweatpants because uh, <laughs> yeah. like you've drawn fish and person and by combining them i'm getting like a bird vibe almost <laughs> oh yeah bit. i've like, discovered the secret of birds it's like a chicken kind of a posture to it i'm getting like a real chicken just sort of strutting around vibe he's now. like a chicken shrimp <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll say too that sometimes you know, uh, almost like uh, well, you've already got the feet here. This feeling maybe too, but but it's sort of golem like. They're sometimes described as like uh, floating around on like half sunken logs. You know, uh, <laughs> this this like like. <laughs> Like they ride around on logs in the water. This is my favorite nature park, and holy shit, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> Kill me! I'm an affront to God. <laughs> Why will no one kill me? <laughs> He's just gonna be like backing away slowly, like okay. Jacob, can this be the same guy that was dreaming? <laughs> oh yeah, what did that guy look like? I gotta pull him back up. Yeah. He's got a oh, little he's just a normal guy with a little bit of hair. Yeah, just give him a little bit of hair. Oh, are you talking about dreams? <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, I have dreams of getting out of here. Uh, just saying. I'm going to be an actor in the big city. <laughs> sure you are, buddy. I was Nathan Detroit in my school play. <laughs> Guys and dolls. Dude, what school did you even know? Never mind. I don't want to ask you any more questions. Well, it's an interesting story. It was a it was a technical school, but I petitioned them to let us put on a school play. I was Nathan Detroit. I should have mentioned I was every role. I was also every other role. But I, was I was homeschooled. I was also the teacher. I bought 80 hats and I played every part I had to play. I also played the whole crowd because nobody <laughs> did come to it. Guys, now I'm feeling sad for this dude. <laughs> yep, that's usually- Maybe there is like a little like one tear. Aww. No. In this eye. Are you crying or did you just emerge from the water? <laughs> it's hard it's to tell. It's unclear even to me. <laughs> I love this. I think uh, I think this is just about done. Jacob, this is wonderful. Yeah. Nothing you... else to be done here. This is. Oh, he's <laughs> big. Oh, he's, he's very big. Yeah, he's very big. <laughs> oh no. Another reason you you want to just like stay away. <laughs> this is honestly terrifying. If I saw this coming out of the water at me, I I would run so fast. You want to look him up? Jacob, yeah, let me pull him up. up. Look up Vadanoi. Oh. 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 He's a sad frog. It's more of a frog-based monster than a fish-based monster. He sure is. He is actually kind of golem like He hangs out on his log. He paddles around. I like here that, at least the description I have, that said that he, they, he sometimes has eyes that burn like red-hot coals, which is maybe a little different from your eyes that you have here. Just a yeah. bit. These are wet eyes. This is more of a, a cold, wet eye than a, than a hot eye. For cold, wet eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Ready to hop in, Julia? Yes, sir. All right, Trap. I'm good and ready to go. I'm ready to receive my horrible monster, please. Your monster is the Tikbalang. Ooh. Tikbalang. Is that like Vietnamese or something? What is this? It's uh, from the Philippines. Okay. Uh, sure. Does that strike in you any particular way, it's, Julia? Uh, yeah. <laughs> no. I got nothing. I got absolutely nothing. It sounds like a tickly monster. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nathan, a huge fan of going for uh, just the immediate sound uh, of the of the name. When you have nothing else to go on. Look, that's fair. I get that. <laughs> uh, I, can, I can give you a little bit more. Let's see. I'll say this. It is, um, without revealing too much, is sort of similar to like a were creature in that it's sort of like a human animal kind of hybrid, but I won't tell you what animal it is. It's so it's sort of like a a mashup of, of a human and something else. All right, well, okay, we've got, wonderful. We've good, done good thing you started this man face. We've done <laughs> elephant and frog, so it would be crazy if Trap gave us uh, an, an, an another, another elephant, elephant or frog. <laughs> so pick any other animal. <laughs> I love that this is so far just a dude. <laughs> when in doubt, just draw a person's face. Isn't man the greatest monster of all? Ooh. <laughs> yeah, Truly, he is. man is the greatest tick malang. <laughs> <laughs> The most dangerous tick maling. Oh, we got long neck. I'll say that's that's not a bad way to go. It's often described as having very long limbs. Oh, long limbs. A spindly creature. Okay. The spindle man. 
<laughs> well, the, hey, long limbs, great for tickling. <laughs> but you can be yards away, and like here come those little tickly fingers. Yeah, it's hard to <laughs> it's hard to dodge a, a, a long reach. What is this? That's Are fine. you drawing Cell from Dragon Ball Z? <laughs> <laughs> I'm super not. Can we get some info on like what the Tick Malang does to you? The Tick Malang is a forest creature. And uh, another kind of, you know, general mischief maker can, you know, verging perhaps sometimes on more than mischief because I think it can, it will kill travelers sometimes. That's um, a good mischief. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's a, <laughs> some light mischief, uh, just a little bit of murder. I would love for the Scooby-Doo gang to be like, wow, he's up to some mischief. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> There's so many bodies. It's just His a... intestines are everywhere, Scoob. <laughs> <laughs> and, and under certain circumstances, doing the right things, you can sort of enlist the Tick Balang to be in your, your servitude. But otherwise, you know, if you fail at that, you're almost certainly going to die. Now, I like the way that this hybrid is shaping up because you're not, the mouth isn't going where the mouth would normally go. That is a non-traditional mouth placement. I like it though. And it offends my Puritan sensibilities. <laughs> getting, this feels very like Pan's Labyrinth now. Yeah. Sort of. Now I'm gonna curious whether these eyes here are going to be actual eyes or just like eye spots like a cobra has. Yeah, I think they're just gonna be like the impressions of where eyes once were uh, or something. Just, yeah, and now it's just like flat skin that's like over a socket. Ugh. I don't like that at all. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I need the Baku to come and erase this from my memory. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to be calling on him tonight for sure. <laughs> Is this like a snake or a crocodile thing that's going on here? Yeah, I was going for a vague kind of wolf mouth. A wolf oh. mouth. I was starting crocodile and then I wanted to switch. I wanted to change gears to make it a little more Oh, more that woodsy. is like a dog nose on the yeah, left side yeah, I there. Yeah, see that nose. Okay. Yeah. So it's, it does have it does have a little nose up there. I like that. <laughs> yeah, it does have like arms and legs, I will say. But uh, again, elongated. Yes, long limbs for sure. Long limbs. Long limbs. Do I want to do that? <laughs> oh, I I hate this. <laughs> <laughs> No matter which way you turn it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's somehow worse when it's sideways. I don't know why, but it is. We got another mouth coming in. Good. That's the face mouth. The, the, oh, he's ready to do some mischief. All right, the mischievous dude. There's the mischief mouth and the kill mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Julia, this is weirdly similar to a monster that I was considering giving you guys. There's a, a monster called the Kishi, which is from an African country, which is escaping me at the moment. But it like looks like a person for the most part, but then the back of their head is a hyena's head. And so they like, <gasps> they, like lure people in. And then uh, once they sort of seduce them at the last minute, they sort of turn around and the hyena head like chomps down on them and, and devours them. Whoa. So they're also like super hot? Uh, yeah. Like they're, they're like a hot dude dude in the front and then like just hyena, <laughs> hyena, I, hyena head um, on the back of their head sort of Voldemort style they oh, just have man. to always stay perfectly in front because I don't, feel don't, like don't, don't shift to the side don't shift to yeah, the side no, just don't look at the, uh, can't go anywhere with mirrors well, yeah. <laughs> this leg is actually I think like sort of similar to like I think how it should be okay. really it is supposed to be kind of like long in an, in an unsettling way okay this is not my intention to ever get anything ran on that show no, but it's okay is, it's okay this is it's still a nightmare. Yeah, yeah it's for still sure. it's still very upsetting to look at. So it's like bent backwards man shoulders. Yeah, really yeah. just Ugh. creeping me out. It just big look. Time. Yeah, I'm just getting I'm getting a tightness, a stiffness in my neck just yeah. looking at this posture. That... I can feel it in my shoulders. Yeah, like, like like Ugh. like un yeah, subconsciously like doing the same thing with my shoulders is what that drawing is doing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ugh. Do you imagine that this creature can see at all? Does it just rely on other senses, or is it like, uh, or or is there some sort of like heightened vision from some eyes somewhere, or like sort of psychic eyes? Maybe he has eyes somewhere else. It does we'll have yeah. that we'll wolf. as we go. It's got that wolf <laughs> nose, so it probably yeah. has a pretty good sense of smell. Keen sense of smell. I can smell you. It's got a wolf <laughs> nose and a person nose. That's true. He has two noses. Don't need eyes to do mischief. I'd love it if the wolf mouth was the mouth that he talked with. <laughs> <laughs> Weren't expecting that, were you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the the bottom mouth is always in that smirk position, and yeah. just... <laughs> it only smirks or burps. <laughs> it's not very refined. That's my rude mouth. <clears throat> 
Sometimes it says fuck at you. <laughs> now are you ready for some mischief? <laughs> I'm going to murder you. I can't hear you. Are you ready for some mischief? <laughs> Just scampering around the forest, like trying to rile up crowds. <laughs> yeah. It is its own hype man, which is pretty cool. Should I should I give you a little bit more information here? I, I think it's fair to yeah, say go that for you're, it. you're most mostly far off here. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking back leg. <laughs> Oh my god. Should I give you as much as to tell you what the animal it's mixed with is or is that yeah, too much information? Yeah, go for it. The Tikbalang is a like humanoid horse creature. Um, mm. uh, now there's not a whole lot horse represented here, although you do have the long limbs and there, there's a description that says it has disproportionately long limbs to the point that its knees reach above its head when it squats down, which like you do actually kind of have here with these just like long long ass limbs. But yeah, maybe maybe we get some some kind Kind of horse uh, feature mixed in here. Perhaps a who? Maybe just a a, a a tail. Maybe just a horse tail. I, where do you want me to put just that? A cute Nathan? Just, horse coming, tail. just coming right <laughs> out the butt. <laughs> just coming right I out. Don't want to draw butt. a horse tail coming right out the butt. Stick it right out the butt. I don't want to. Maybe like a cutie mark, like My Little Pony. <laughs> oh yeah, just yeah, one little cutie, cutie mark. mark. Yeah. What if I just make these feet hooves? You could do that. Yeah. Listen, I'm, it's all I'm up to you, it. but it does have to have a cutie mark. Yeah. I will draw a little tail. Thank you. Julia. I heard the people in my head clamoring. But it's not coming out of the butt, huh? No, it's it's not, not coming out of the butt. It's above the I can't, butt. Okay. I can't possibly convince you to make it coming out of How the butt. How else would he poop? <laughs> Through the hair. Yeah. Through the tail. It it's a it. gross, dirty poop tail. <laughs> what a nightmare existence. <laughs> As opposed to everything else on him? <laughs> uh, he's making it work. Yeah, the oh. smirk really makes it seem like he's got it under control. Yeah. <laughs> just another day living life. <laughs> This guy climbs into his Ferrari and just cruises through the forest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's just drooling right on his face. Yeah, the drool from the top mouth all across the face is is upsetting. Should yeah. he be wearing some sort of clothes? How? Yeah, how is a good question. How for even? That. Where? Yeah, I, just, I guess ugh. like a like a Livestrong bracelet or. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you can, you can give a bracelet give for a, sure. Yeah, give him a bracelet. I'm a little out on the fashion. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's been a while. What happened to Lance Armstrong? <laughs> he did, he did what? what? <laughs> oh, I'm not a fan of that kind of <laughs> mischief. <laughs> where's the cutie mark? Julia, where's the cutie mark? What kind of cutie mark would he have? Maybe like a little like mischievous emoji face. <laughs> like a little like a little winky devil face kind of thing. Yeah, winky devil face. Oh, that's good. Yeah, give it little <laughs> horns. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just an unfortunate tattoo he got. Yeah. Oh, I was really drunk. I was really young. I thought it would be a fun time, and I, I don't know. Like, it's a good memory of who I was at that time, so I don't want to get rid of it, but <laughs> it's just not me anymore. I hate this. I guess you're not supposed to like him. You're not huh? supposed to like him, but like, boy, oh boy, the the shoulder and hip joints are real unpleasant to yeah. to think about. Even. I don't like him, but God damn it, do I respect him? Yeah. <laughs> Can I ask Julia? Are the back legs are those like knees bent backwards, or is it like a human form that is? thrusting forwards. Does that question make sense? Uh, I think its knees are kind of snapped and like rotated around. That's a good question. Because like I could also see a version of this where it's like just the head is kind of backwards and it's almost like like where the tail is right now is almost like a groinal area and it's just sort of kind of thrusting upwards. I was seeing that a little too. Now you've put that knee there. Yeah, so it's bent backwards. So that that's not, that's gross. Yep. What you've done. I, I, you know, I wouldn't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I think it's perfect. I'm a little worried about it. I'm happy with oh. this. This is a great drawing. I can't say I'm happy with it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, nothing about this makes me happy. I'll throw some flowers in there. Yeah. <laughs> That'll yeah. brighten it up. A pretty forest scene. <laughs> Just walking through the forest, getting getting in touch with nature. You see this guy come up, and you're like, "Oh, I should have stayed home." All right, shall we look this dude up? Yes, yeah. please. All right, what what's his name? The Tikbalang. So T I K B A L A N G. Oh, it oh really he's just is. a buff horse. It really is a buff horse. It's like man. a buff horseman. If you saw uh, "Sorry to Bother You," it's not that different from like the horse people uh, that appear uh, later in the movie. 
It's just like a like a strong horseman. Although I th- I think like some of the drawings you see online don't really take into account the the freakishly long limbs that that are part of the description. Yeah, I think that would that would make it significantly like creepier. Yeah, whoever drew these just clearly wanted to draw a very strong horseman. Yeah, it's like it's just just like a hot horse person. Now, in some versions, the Tikbalang is a transformation of a, of an aborted fetus sent to Earth from limbo. Nice. Uh, that's just something. <laughs> to put in your little pocket. <laughs> That's just something to think <laughs> about. Uh, I'll take that one home with me. Thank you. If you can ride the Tikbalang or if you can pluck the three specific hairs from its mane before it kills you, then uh, the Tikbalang does your bidding. Oh, wow. That's a I fun. I don't want it to. That's like a fun, the challenge. <laughs> My, My bidding is go away, yeah. please. Yeah. <laughs> now that I have complete command of you, never look at me again. <laughs> please leave. <laughs> Well, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to go do the tick playing challenge. Uh, the, uh, what's up, YouTube? What's up, YouTube? Uh, here, going to uh, fight here. this, uh, try and ride this horrible horse monster. And... Please leave me alone. Please, whatever you're doing over there, please don't please don't bother me. <laughs> <laughs> These are some monsters. They are some monsters for Absolutely. sure. And yeah, if there's any uh, little tidbits of uh, of information that we got wrong about these monsters, leave it in the comments with um actually in the beginning of your comment and we'll give you some points. Uh, we've got a couple extra points lying around. We were a little over budget, so we'd be very happy to bestow some points upon you uh, if you have the, some of those corrections. Um, yeah, you know, you can take those points. You can do whatever you want with them. And guys, check out Dropout. You can watch Um Actually on there. Caldwell was on an episode. Uh, I'm on an episode. Uh, I don't think that episode's gone up yet, but I was on an episode. No, that that episode is is going to be a little bit later. But uh, but yeah, uh, you came on and you you drew a kappa for us. I did draw a kappa. I knew what a kappa was, uh, and I was very excited. <laughs> so yeah, you, you can watch Um Actually. You can watch uh, Fantasy High. You can watch Cartoon Hell. There are also comics on there. Uh, the Ladies Book Club comic, for example. Uh, it's just a lot of good stuff for for not too much money, and yeah. uh, you get to support the creators you like directly. So I think it's a pretty good deal. If you're interested, check it out. I think especially uh, as always, we are sorry. <laughs> sorry. 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 I didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs>